Hello everyone. Today we're going to make couscous with chicken. This is a North African dish. It's extremely popular, especially in the Arab world. Everybody makes it differently. We're going to make our version. However, before I mention the ingredients, I'd like to remind everybody, if you do enjoy the episode, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can follow us on both Twitter and Instagram. The links to those will be down below in the description box. This dish is going to take a lot of ingredients, so we're going to do it in two parts. The first part will be for the chicken. I'm gonna start off on this side. You're going to need some salt, about a kilo of chicken, three peeled and cut potatoes, three peeled carrots, four red onions, one apple, some fresh mint, some lemon leaves. These are two stalks of celery, which we have cut into pieces. Three bay leaves, one cinnamon stick. Here we have one teaspoon of black pepper. However, we're going to only use half of it for the chicken one teaspoon of coriander we're going to use only half of it for the chicken half a teaspoon of turmeric one teaspoon of paprika one teaspoon of cardamom however we're only going to use half for the chicken and eight cloves of garlic so these are the ingredients we're going to use for the first half let's begin in a preheated pot on maximum heat, add the chicken. Next, add the onions and the garlic cloves. After a couple of minutes, add in the bay leaves, the celery, the lemon leaves, the mint, the apple. Then add in half of the coriander, so half a teaspoon of coriander and half a teaspoon of cardamom and half a teaspoon of black pepper add the turmeric and the paprika next add the cinnamon stick add some water this is three cups of water then cover it with a lid and we're going to leave it until the water boils once the water boils, lower the heat to medium on three and a half. After seven minutes, add in the carrots, then add in the potatoes. Next, add some salt to taste, then cover it with a lid, then lower the heat to medium, and we're just going to leave the chicken to cook now. Now we're going to do the second stage. This is for the couscous. We're going to start off on this side. We're going to need some salt, one packet of mushrooms. This is about 250 grams. The juice of four tomatoes. Um, you can get this by peeling the tomatoes and then using a blender. And then four peeled and diced tomatoes, some chopped parsley, some chopped coriander, two tablespoons of tomato paste, some unsalted butter, about a kilo of couscous, and then here we have these large green chilies. I don't know what they're called, so we're going to use three of them. A quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of cardamom, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. These are the ingredients we'll be using for the second stage. Let's begin. Start off by adding the couscous to a bowl. Add the tomato juice to the couscous. Next, add in the cardamom, then the cumin, the red chili, powder, the black pepper, the cardamom, the cinnamon. 
after you're done mixing it then you leave it and let everything get absorbed after 23 minutes the chicken is done we're going to remove the chicken after you separate the chicken we're going to leave this to simmer for a little while longer until the potatoes and the carrots cook next in a preheated pot on maximum heat add the chicken next take some of the chicken stock and add it to the chicken then cover it with a lid once the water boils lower the heat to medium once the potatoes and the carrots have fully cooked separate them and place them in an oven dish after you've separated the potatoes and the chicken strain this next add the green chilies to the oven dish then drizzle some vegetable oil on top. Then place it in a preheated oven on 150 and the fan thingy. We just want it to change color. We took these out after 12 minutes. This is what we want it to look like. Now we're going to make the sauce in a preheated pot. Add two diced onions. We forgot to mention this. It will be in the description box. Then add some vegetable oil. Once the onions turn translucent, add four grated cloves of garlic. Again, we forgot to mention this, it will be in the description box. After 40 seconds, lower the heat to medium and add the tomato paste. Then add the diced tomatoes. We're also going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir for a couple of minutes and then add some of the chicken stock, not all of it. Then cover it with a lid and we're going to leave it to simmer for about five minutes. After five minutes, add some salt to taste. Next, add in the coriander. Then cover it with a lid again and leave it for a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, use a blender and blend it. After you're done blending, this is what it should look like. The sauce is done. Leave it on the side. After 22 minutes, these are done. It should look like this. The stock has evaporated and the chicken has changed color. In a preheated frying pan on maximum heat, add some vegetable oil. Next, add in the mushrooms. We're going to saute the mushrooms now. Saute for about six to seven minutes. These are done. Remove them. Okay, so in a preheated pot on maximum heat, we're going to add one can of chickpeas. We forgot to mention this. It will be in the description box. Next, we're going to add some of the sauce to it. Of course, the chickpeas have been strained and washed. About this much sauce. After five minutes, the chickpeas are done. Remove them. We've left some water to boil. Now we're going to add one of those tray thingies. Next, add the couscous to the tray. Add some butter to the top. Next, add some salt to taste. Then cover it with a lid and lower the heat to four. This is finally done. We left the couscous to steam for about 20 minutes. Then we layered it, first the couscous, then the vegetables, and then the chickpeas, and the chicken on top of that. I can't believe we finished it. Today was one of those days when all three of us were spaced out. This is the actual couscous, and this is the accompanying sauce. So I'm going to try some right now. I'll take some chickpeas with some of the couscous. There it goes. I'm going to take too much. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. It's delicious. I mean, come on. It's delicious. This is one of my favorite dishes. So this was our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.